Hey there guys, and welcome back to Ben 10 Protector of Earth. Does it come to this? The bad guys have run out of cool places to attack, so they just pick a giant concrete slab out in the middle of nowhere? Well, looks like he's not here. I guess the trivia princess loses again. No, he's here. He has to be here. Thanks for playing our show. We have some lovely parting gifts for you. Damn, Ben, you're kind of being mean to your cousin. Anyway, in the last episode, we went to Area 51, kicked the crap out of some Forever Knights, and then fought Enoch, who escaped in a giant-ass giant robot. Like that one. Which has been in the water for some really, really weird reason. You Tennysons will never learn. Your alien form may have hindered me before, but with the technology of this BattleBot, I will smite you! Ah, uh, BattleBots. It kind, of, it kind of reminds me of that uh, really old TV show where they had all the radio-controlled robots fighting each other. That show was the shit. I wonder whatever happened to that stuff. I mean, do they still organize those things, or do they just not televise it anymore? Anyway, fighting on the Hoover Dam against Enoch's giant-ass robot, which is really giving me like a bit of a steampunk Pacific Rim vibe for some reason. Anyway, there's not really a whole lot to the fight, he's just smashing the dam. And it's surprisingly sturdy. I mean, it's holding up to those punches pretty well. Oh, there he goes. He grabs a... What, what is that, like a lightning tower, a power mast or something? Which is connected to that generator which happens to be on the road. Now, it's obvious what we need to do. We step on the pressure plate and he goes boom. But seriously, that pressure plate is right in the middle of the road. Like, a car driving over that could activate it. That is not safe at all. Oh damn, he's got some new moves shoulder charging the dam, which is still not breaking. Why, uh, I, don't, I don't really remember from the last episode, but why did he even go here in the first place? Um... I'm pretty sure they said that, I just can't for the life of me remember. I mean, what is at the Hoover Dam that he needs his giant robot for? Is he gonna smash it and flood the place? It seems kinda counterintuitive to what he's, oh crap, hoping to accomplish. I mean, he wants to eradicate all aliens. I'm not really sure how breaking the Hoover Dam is gonna help with that. Anyway, let's give Heat Blast a go, because Forearms... Forearms was kinda slow, he was kinda have some problems dodging his punches. Why is the robot making a laughing motion? It's a robot, it shouldn't be doing that. That's just silly. Then again, it's a game based on a children's cartoon. Maybe I should cut it some slack in the silly department. You know, I'm getting pretty tired of his uh, punches tracking so well. They are actually surprisingly hard to avoid. Also, look at that chest laser. That is totally gypsy danger right there. Even though this game does precede Pacific Rim by, like, uh, I want to say five or six years. But still, it's pretty damn similar. Kind of cool, though. I mean, big ass. Is there any, like, a chest laser? Is that. There is no way that is never cool. If you have a chest laser, you're automatically pretty damn badass. Anyway. His health bar is way too long for his own good. And it's like, he really doesn't give you a whole lot of opportunity to attack him. When he's doing the chest laser, he's, he's out of reach. When he's doing the shoulder charge, he's out of reach. Only when he slams the ground with one of his hands, you can do anything about him. Oh, there we go. To the pressure plate. And there goes the other arm. Boom. Just seems to break his shoulder pads, though. Shame, because they were some nice shoulder pads. Oh, damn. Okay, he's got a shockwave punch now. And chest laser again. He really doesn't have an awful lot of moves now, does he? Oh, here comes that again. And even with accelerate speed, it's proving to be quite tricky to dodge. The shoulder charge is ridiculously easy, though. And shockwave punch. Okay, get close. He removes his arms way too fast for me to get some good damage in. Like, you have to basically predict where he's gonna punch pretty well. And he seems to basically... Well, he does seem to lead with his right most of the time. Then shoulder charge. Now he's going to do the shockwave stomp, yeah. Getting close. And then up next should be the chest laser. Yes, okay. I think I got his pattern figured out. Wait for the chest laser. 
Right punch. Yep. Okay, I think he's just going th through those four moves in motion. Oh, did I get him? He is scattering health. Up shoulder charge. Yep, still sticking to the pattern. Yeah, I got him figured out. You know, I can read you like an open book. And, oh, time to bash. Oh, quick time event time. Okay, Ben, let's go get him. Oh, freaking motion quick time events. Alright. Super kick him. No, Accelerate was that strong. Oh, nice. Smack him all over the place. You just cut the thing off already. Oh, crap. Oh, we're done. Or no, we're not. Forearms. Whoa. Okay, I'm... I'm not sure if Forearms is actually that strong. I mean, he has shown some pretty decent feats of strength in the show by just flicking the robot around like that. That's pretty much... Pretty sure that's quite a few levels above what he should be capable of. Well, there's one more bad guy who's all washed up. Get it, Grandpa? He's all washed up? We should have gotten more information from him. There's something much bigger behind this. Hey, look! Hmm... Isn't that another piece of the... Matrix? Why, yes it is! Whoa, let's see who I got now! Oh, great! The Rolling Wonder? Try not to trip into too many enemies. All right, we got a mystery to solve. Let's bounce. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh no. Look out! Grandpa, get the door! I can't find my keys. Run faster. Okay, what the hell was that about? Okay, I do... Ben did have some trouble controlling Cannonbolt at first, but that was only like in his debut episode. I don't think he's ever really shown any trouble using him afterwards. And the fact that Wildvine is also unlocked in this game pretty much means that, it's, that it takes place way after the episode he gets Cannonbolt in. So, it's kind of weird that he suddenly can't seem to control him anymore. But whatever. Hold on to your headgear! Twice in one day? What are the odds? Oh, everyone okay? Put it this way, I don't think things are gonna get much better. Wait, all the previous missions took place in the span of one day? Uh, okay, where have we been so far? The Grand Canyon, Area 51, the Hoover Dam. I'm no expert on American geography at all. Honestly, I have no clue where any of those three places are. Although, isn't Area 51 supposed to be like in... Arizona? The Arizona Desert? Some sort of desert, at least. But, uh, I wonder, is, do any of you Americans know if it is possible to go from the Grand Canyon to Area 51 to the Hoover Dam in a single day in an RV? Doesn't really seem that likely to me. Also, I have no real clue where we are right now. Or what the point of this level is, to be honest, because this was actually a separate episode. Because I, I pretty much always used to record one mission per episode. But this mission is... I'm not really sure what the point of this is, it's basically just... I'm in the middle of nowhere, beating up enemies. And that's just it, it goes on for a couple minutes and then you're done. But I guess it does give me a good little chance to try out Cannonbolt, and he's... Pretty much like he is in most of the other Ben 10 games he's in, he's pretty hard to control, but he does pretty good damage. He's all over the place. I guess the enemies can't really get a beat on him either. So it's a it's a double-edged sword. He will be wrecking stuff, and he probably won't be getting hit that much. But you really have no control over what you're doing that well. So I'm just going to accelerate because he's still pretty much my go-to guy for these simple enemies. Simply because he's just so fast, so such good range. Pyramid wrecks everything in a couple of hits as well, and see level over. Not really too sure what the point of this is, except for maybe to try out Cannonbolt or something. It's always nice to get in a good workout. Are we ready to go now? What? Are you kidding? Look at this place. You can't just leave all this junk lying around. Superheroes don't have to clean up their messes, Dweeb. It's one of the perks. Well, she does have a point, you know. 
You never see this in any of the comic books! Actually, you kinda do. Look up damage control on Wikipedia or something. Anyway, that's all for now. In the next episode of Benton, Protector of Earth, we're going to the, the city of hippies, San Francisco. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.